I wanted to experience a little bit of Greece that was off the beaten track and was a really authentic, unchanging part where time seems to stand still. And I found it exactly here in Lemony, which is the jewel of the Mani Peninsula. This place is amazing. It's totally unchanging and you really get the sense that time has completely stood still. And it's wild Greece. I promise you this, it is amazing, absolutely beautiful. The wild, rugged, sprawling Mani Peninsula is just a few hours from Athens, but a world away. This southern region of the Peloponnese Peninsula is Greece's best kept secret. It has some of the country's most beautiful landscapes, intriguing history and lots of incredible little fishing villages that are still under the tourist radar. Lemony is absolutely beautiful. The water is crystal clear and there's actually sea turtles here as well that you can swim with. The snorkeling is fantastic. Beautiful. The loggerhead turtle is the most prolific in Greece and is strictly protected by Greek laws. They have a lifespan of up to 70 years, feeding mainly on mollusks, jellyfish, crustaceans and algae. Unfortunately, as with many turtles around the world, they frequently lose their lives from swallowing plastic bags, confusing them with jellyfish. Female loggerheads return to the shores of the Greek islands, Crete in particular, to lay their eggs every two to four years from May to September. 20 to 200 eggs are laid under the cover of darkness, and then they bury them and return to the ocean. Their conservation status is listed as vulnerable by the IUCN. I'm here in Githio, the capital of the Mani Peninsula. It's a modern town with beautiful neoclassical buildings. The land of gods, according to the ancient Greeks. And according to Greek mythology, this is where Paris, the son of the king of Troy, stole the beautiful Helen from the king of Sparta and sparked the Trojan War. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful fresh seafood here and you can have your choice of literally anything from the sea and you've got octopus tentacles drying in the sun here. Only in Greece. Vathia is an iconic village of the Mani Peninsula. It is linked by road to the north with Aeropoli and Kalamata and to the south with Cape Matapan. It is also a perfect example of South Maniot vernacular architecture as it developed in the 18th and 19th centuries. Recorded mentions of Vathia date back as far as 1571. There are loads of little tiny villages and beaches to visit all along the peninsula. And I'm now at Scutari, which is a beautiful little village right on the water's edge. Absolutely stunning. Just 1.5 kilometers from its port of Limini stands the historic town of Areopoli, which means City of Ares, the ancient Greek god of war. The impressive St. Taxiarch's Church is one of the most prominent and beautiful structures presiding over this lively city with its open air markets, quaint cobbled streets and bustling nightlife. 
The Greek War of Independence was started at Areopoli on March 17, 1821 by Patros Mavromachalis, the last bay or leader of Mani. The Mani Peninsula is mainland Greece at its best and delivers the real Greek experience with cultural and scenic surprises at every turn.